All right, uh, as you can see, these cylinders all come out whack. Not everybody has a machine shop or has the ability to machine a deck properly. I have an end mill I can use, and I choose my port timings first. Uh, transfers are low, like I said, at 110. If I stack two base gaskets, that put me at a 120 on the transfers. And then consider a 0.7 millimeter head gasket. And you're wondering how you figure out the squish. Well, you got to mock the motor up and you got to keep squishing pieces of material till you come up with the figure you need to know how much to machine off this cylinder to end up with a 0.6 millimeter squish. Not hard when somebody else does the work and math for you. Uh, so I checked a couple of them. And in order to achieve a 0.8 millimeter squish safe, it pro can probably compress down to a 6.5 or a 7 after the motor's broken with these paper base gaskets, including the head gaskets I come up with. I got to cut 73 thousandths off the cylinder. Even like I said, if you had one base gasket and one head gasket, you'd have well over about a millimeter and a half. Of squish on this cylinder without touching it so no matter what you got to deck it so there you go did the math next thing I do is I end up putting threads in here and taking them over to the shop and machining them and I'm gonna have to mark all the transfer boost port openings to that secondary line down there that's where my secondary transfers open but you got to consider it's going to be higher because it's going up two millimeters. So that's how you figure it all out. And then as far as port timing goes, I just mocked one up with the proper port width. The second, the bottom line down there is my secondary transfer opening. My line right above the bottom line is the physical primary transfer opening the third line up is stock exhaust port height and fourth line up is going to be my projected port opening which would be a 170 just the numbers figure out that way it'd be a 20 percent low down and as far as grinding goes i wouldn't grind anything below that second the, the first line up which is my transfer opening anything more than that you're creating what's called port area and the port shape you want to end up with is gonna look like the one everybody copies looks like a mushroom uh i don't know where i got it i got one here here you go end up looking like that roof shape best working shape there is so there it is like i said not hard when somebody else does all the figuring out for you i.e me